Greetings, comrades. It's been a bit, hasn't it? Welcome back to the Baratia Commune. Now, um, things are a little bit different from last episode because uh, I'm, I'm being slow and the game's getting updates and uh, so uh, so yeah, it seems like some, some stuff fucked up a little. Nepal was part of German East Asia for some reason, uh, so I gave it to myself. I wanted to like try and give it to myself and then release it as an independent state because I didn't I didn't have any any eyes on taking it at all you know but uh, I couldn't find any like button to release it as an independent state I believe it's here like I know there's uh, for countries that exist um, you can give uh, you can give core territories back like uh, for example if you're playing as Britain, in the base game, you can give Hong Kong back to uh, the Republic of China or to Communist China, since they both have cores on it. But, I mean, obviously that's not how it works in this game, uh, well, in this mod, because uh, Britain is communist. And Dominion of Canada doesn't own shit anymore. In fact, actually, yeah. It, uh, it's originally owned by. Oh wait, it, Republic of Australasia. Gee, that is, oh, that's cursed. Okay, um, I think it's owned by the, um, you know, the uh, the thingies, Shanghai, the the Declaration Cities or whatever, the fucking neoliberals on the coast. <laughs> um, that's what it's owned by originally, I think. But yeah. Basically, like, if I owned a little bit of Tibet, say this was part of Tibet, but it wasn't in Tibet and I owned it, then I could give it back to Tibet from this menu. I know that I could do that, but apparently not full-on independent countries. Or uh, full-on countries that are uh, full-on part of me. Every single one of their cores is part of me and they don't exist as a country. Can't do that, apparently. So, uh, Nepal's part of us now. And, uh... Yeah, what are you guys doing? You, you get down here. Yeah, there you go. Get down there. Alright, um... Well, we'll finish off taking... Burma. Slow it down a bit, it seems like my game is having a bit of trouble. Oh yeah, and then I like had uh Yeah yeah I had this guy's garrisoning because why not? Okay, right, right. Um Well because these guys have a small navy. The uh the Burmese have a small navy. Nine ships. Yeah, I think I I think it was larger a while ago. All of Shenyang, shall Manchuria have new masters? Oh, you, hoo -hoo, look at that! Well, they, they say it's capitulated, it's over here! Look at that, it's over there. Um, alright, I think I had some, uh, someone up there. Yeah, because now they're back defending my country. I could, actually, I could uh, keep an operative there, but, eh. Let's build intelligence in uh, Nanjing now. I know she's kind of weird. There's still a war, right? Yeah, there's still a war. It's just a really clean border. Yeah, it's on on state lines. You know, it's just it's a really clean border. That's just weird, you know. But all right. Um. Shoot, do we have like a Burmese cipher? No. Okay, we're doing one for German East Asia, though, because I want to take them out. Then, from there, they can use one of their ports and start attacking Japan. I think that's how we're going to end this, uh, this series, is we are going to take on Japan, get them out of China. That, that's, that's our whole thing, is we are focused on the Asian sphere. 
anything west of, like, Eastern Arabia, that don't matter too much. Oh god, I clearly need to zoom in a little. <laughs> this is going <laughs> ridiculously slow. Alright, we'll zoom in. There. <laughs> Poor game. Poor computer. I'm sorry, computer. Yeah, you tell him. I said you tell him. Go, go and do stuff. Go tell him. Go tell him. Yeah. It's gonna be epic coup. We're gonna go to Rangoon. Yeah, we're gonna go to Rangoon. Also, something I didn't know is apparently we have cores on like all of Burma now. I don't know. It's weird. I don't. I don't know how that happened. Integrating Burma. Maybe there was a vent or something. I can't remember. Um. Yeah, so, uh, we have cores on literally all Burmese cores. So that's fun. Like Upper Shan, Upper my Man. It will planes and reserves. Reserves my man. Ooh, go there. Look at that. You have a uh, better reach now. Look at that. Oh, we can do a thingy. Restore, uh, restore order, 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 order. Oh no. Just resistance to occupation in Bhutan. That means we're above 25%, I think. It's not too bad. We're gonna go to Rangoon. We're gonna go to Rangoon. We're gonna go to Rangoon. I nah, made up the song because we're going to Rangoon. Let's see what it's going Oh! We have, uh, done Goa. Okay, we, we've done claimed it, I guess. Do we get a core on it, though? Because if not, I'm just gonna go and core it. Yeah, it's a core. Okay. Coolio. Cool. One less we have to do. Uh, we're gonna... I don't think we can actually do this at all, so I think I'll just, like, bypass it or something. I don't know. Come on, guys, let's, uh, let's do it. A little over 12 days. Got, like, a little under 20 days. Let's do this, my man. Let's do it. Cipher for the German East Asia is done. All right, let's do another one. Yeah, I know. What do you mean? You guys are fine. What happened to their ace? Get back there. 
Um, yeah, do your same stuff. Oh, different one. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Um, wait, what are you? you st oh, you're still fires. Oh, okay. I thought you might be close air support. But... Yeah, fighter ones, okay. Whatever, you can still go there. Uh, I'm just gonna reassign this guy over here. Alright. Actually, no, 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 you're fully trained, you're all good. Um, how many, like, fighters do we have in storage? We have a few. There, do that. <laughs> in fact, stay there. Don't do shit. Yeah, don't do shit. Just stay there. For now. Right. Um, ciphers. Let's... Oh. You know, it kind of looks like I might not have to get myself involved here after all. <laughs> yeah, this, uh... It's like they, it looks like they're really winning now, now that you don't have to focus up there. Okay. Wow, yeah, they're going through Korea and everything. Hmm. May okay, well, there was, I guess there was uh, the other option of going and invading the German government in exile and the uh, the rest of the Entente. Oh, fuck, that's a lot of the Entente. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so somehow uh, getting over here just to take the Djibouti just because. Gotta take that booty. Um... And then, of course, getting over onto these islands and Madagascar and such, because, of course. Yeah. Wonder if there. Uh... I don't know the history of these islands very well. I don't know if uh, there's like a a native culture or if uh, if uh, maybe. I think the Seychelles had natives on them, especially since there's so many people there. Um, of course, it's also actually an archipelago, but it's a bunch of tiny islands. I'm not sure. I I don't imagine if if they were like colonized by people. I don't know. I think it might be like kind of the same sort of story as as Madagascar um, was colonized. Basically. People from uh, Indonesia, they sailed west, kinda. Um, I guess some, of, basically, some of the Polynesians sailed west, something like that. They got all these little islands, you know. Oh, Christmas and Cocos, I think, is just uh, yeah. I, I think that was just full-on colonized by Europeans. Cause, I don't know, maybe it wasn't. I know Christmas Islands where they like deployed one of the nukes, so you know that, that's just something. But yeah, basically, colonists from, you know, from, from uh, Zambezia and from, like, Indonesia, Polynesia, they went on to Madagascar and colonized it together and made a kind of hybrid culture. And then the French came and fucked it all up. That's what the French do. So maybe that's what happened here. I don't know. But maybe it was, like, Indian colonists. And if that's the case, then maybe I can make a case for, uh, coring these? <laughs> I don't know. Eh. I'm, I'm, I probably won't anyways. They aren't worth very much. But, and they're far away. But yeah, uh, maybe we'll be invading the German government in exile. With that in mind, um... We left a dude... Where did we leave dude? Yeah, we left a dude here. So you... You go and... Uh, I don't know. They really seem like they've got that under control, almost. You know? Like, they really have it under control. Actually, trying to 
to decide where to put my, my spy, because, like, I'm not sure how intelligence works. I don't know if it has to be on, like, the capital for it to be effective, or maybe I just have to put it somewhere. So maybe I'll put it here for now, I guess. I don't know. kind of goes to the surrounding states. I'll put it in the Congo, sure. Spy in the Congo. Spy in the Congo. Um, yeah, we'll do the German government exile as well. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's your, there's the close air support that I was talking about. Yeah. Been thinking that we should probably look into that stuff, you know. <laughs> Maybe we should get the, the mo more modern versions of it as well. I don't know. Um, this isn't like our main thing, though. Ooh, this isn't that far ahead of time. So let's take that. Yes, my pretties. Go, my pretties. Go fight for me, my pretties. <laughs> fight for me, my pretties. Yes, my pretties, fight for me, fight for me. Ooh, free screensavers. Um, let's see here. Oh yeah, we should start building some close air support, because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Good on ya, good on ya. Um, hold on, so... Actually, these are a little bit cheaper to make, so they'll be... A little bit easier, yeah, okay. Um, we can have like three on them then, sure. Because, yeah, basically, we need we need stuff to use our factories on. That's the main reason I got close air support. Um, Iceland, no. Also, you know how Iceland tends to join the Axis now, for some reason, in uh, like the uh, more modern updates or whatever, Foy Four. Well, that's based on an event where basically the UK said to Iceland. Uh, so after Denmark capitulated, the UK was worried that the Germans would go to Iceland, because that was, um, I believe, owned, yeah, that was owned by uh, Denmark, like how Greenland, how Greenland was, and I believe some of the, like, Faroe Islands stuff, uh, I think it was just the Faroe Islands, yeah, but basically the UK was like, hey, uh, Iceland, do you want our protection from the Germans? And the newly formed Republic of Iceland was like, uh... No, we'll get back to you on that. We'll st we're still trying to set up our government. And then the UK was like, Do you want our protection? <laughs> and they uh, deployed a subset of their fleet to protect Iceland without Iceland's consent. And uh, technically, that is an act of war. So technically, the UK declared war on Iceland. 
it's a funny historical thing, and then because of game mechanics, of course, my guess is that when that when that happens, that then Iceland decides, oh, the UK's at war with me. I need to uh, I need to join the Axis so I have a chance of surviving this, and then join the Axis even though they're democratic, <laughs> and in fact, their ruling party is the Social Democrats, I believe, when they become independent. So that's funny. Um, what do we want to do as far as restoring order? Order. Order. Let's uh, restore order in Hyderabad. Ye. All right. Uh, we could do more of that, but I want to see about um, the Burmese territory in uh, Siam or something. You know, I want. Okay, guys. We have ten days. Please. Take over Rangoon. Ring a Rangoon. Take it, 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 Stop them from moving and reinforcing. We're gonna take Rangoon if it's the last Rangoon we're gonna take. Rangoon is gonna be so Rangoon that it's not gonna know it's Rangoon from it's Rangoon! And that, my friends, is how you defeat the French. Or <laughs> something, I don't know. That looks weird. Oh well. Oh, and apparently we don't have enough to fucking take this. Seriously, what? What was I doing that whole war besides gathering war score for myself to annex the entire country? Come on, guys. All right. Um. Well done. Yay! And everyone is our core, so everyone's nice and happy. Um, shit, we still have a bunch of military factories that we aren't doing anything with. I don't know, go there. And... there. For now. Yeah. Um... Order! That's a reference to the very silly video of the uh, UK Parliament, by the way, there is a freaking I don't know, dude, uh, and basically, so you know the UK Parliament, they get out of control easily, because it's a bunch of British folks, old cranky British folks, and put in a stuffy room, talking politics, they're gonna get cranky and loud, <laughs> so, uh, they have to have a, they basically have to have a guy that yells order like every five seconds, <laughs> and this one guy just I don't know got real into it, so you're like order, order. Anyways, uh oh, they yeah, still can't do this because they don't exist, I guess. Um, I want to just I want to take that though. Um, I forget what the cheat is. <laughs> Help me. Eh. I can do that off camera. Um. You know, speaking of which, though, I guess, um. Alright, so. We're gonna go to war. With German East Asia. That much is for sure, because we spent a lot of time preparing for this, so we're gonna go to war with German East Asia. And then I'm, then I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. Actually, yeah, we don't have cores on like any of this, so I'm gonna have to see if there's, uh... Well, typically in Kaiserreich, you, uh... You're given a choice to either accept a stability penalty or you release puppets. But since I kind of uh, manually made this war happen instead of through the uh, narrative, 
I'm not sure how that's gonna work. You know? And especially, like, I don't know how to, uh, to do other things. Maybe, I mean, I guess I could, like, just give some of this to, uh, I don't know, Insulindia or something. Maybe I just keep all of it. Maybe I try and puppet Germany. No, I wouldn't. That wouldn't make sense. Puppeting Germany stay here. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the the cheats uh, on the wiki. Maybe see if I can. Or, and I don't know. See if I can maybe find some sort of way to uh, to create puppets and stuff. Cause like basically the reason we did this is so that we'd have access to some ports so that we could go and invade Japan, although it looks like Japan is uh, falling on its own. Actually, how would I, like, couldn't, like, uh, I would say a legitimate public. Interesting. Um, faction leader, uh, I can't, like, join their war. Okay. Are we part of... No, we're not even part of the Third National. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um... Can we request to join faction? Yeah, we got, like, nothing. I don't know, so maybe we'd have to actually, um... Justify on Japan. Shit, if that's the case, maybe I should start getting on that. Um... Maybe justify on the Philippines. Philippines! Shoot, no, I'm gonna have to... We need one more political power. What? You need two political power? Maybe that's just from last time? That, like, late, like from yesterday's political power that I had? No, I needed one more political power. Apparently there's a state somewhere that I can take here for just two political power or something like that. That is insane. Okay. What, what if I want to do it with Japan? Yeah, you need fucking two political power, apparently. I don't know. I'm going to check all that um, off camera and, uh, and see how I might do stuff. Oh, yeah. How is my, uh, my, my war justification? Jesus. It's November. Okay, yeah. We should really start going on one for Japan. And also, uh, yeah, I should, uh, see, can I, like, ask to join war? No, I can't ask to join war, and I can't ask to be part of their faction, either. So interesting. I'm gonna have to see, uh, maybe, you know, Diplo all, or allow Diplo or something, I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah. We're getting to the point in the series where I start using cheats to make things work. <laughs> well, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you, comrades, so very much for watching. And until next time, solidarity forever. <laughs>